Great and wonderful day to all of you. It brings me great pleasure to bring God's word to the people. Today's word comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1 through 12. It is called Gift of Prophecy in Tongues, but I have affectionately, affectionately renamed it, I Believe. I Believe. Some of us may have experienced a feeling of insecurity when hearing a language that we don't understand. It may happen in the grocery store or while we're out shopping for this thing or that thing. The people are speaking, speaking in their language that we don't understand and they're comfortable speaking to one another. We are trying to understand what they're saying and wondering if they're talking about us. I'm going to coin a phrase from my pastor, Reverend Dr. Timothy West, and tell you a true story. Before he tells his story, he always says, this is a true story. This is my true story. I was in an elevator a few years back and a couple behind me were speaking a language I didn't understand. However, I understood the sound of the language and I understood it to be German. They were speaking in their language, but they were mixing in English with it. So they were essentially speaking German and English together. So I turned around and I said, hello. And they spoke, they both smiled. And I said, you guys must be from Germany. And they shook their head, yes. And I said, well, you know, I could understand some of your conversation from your language, the way your language sounds. I said, but you were also mixing in English, you know, with your German. And I also went further to tell them that, you know, living in the United States, you hear a lot of different languages and you become accustomed to the sound of it. And in some instances, you can tell which language it is. And when I said that, they got quiet. You could have heard a pin drop or like some folks say, you could have heard a mouse on cotton. <laughs> well... As we read the text in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1 through 12, we learn that Paul is talking to the members of the church about the spiritual gifts of prophecy and tongues. He's telling the people that these gifts are useful if they're understood by the church. He tells them that prophecy is better because people can understand it but that tongues is a more personal conversation with the Lord and tongues is in the spirit of God. Paul tells them that speaking in tongues is fruitless unless there is someone there to interpret what is being said so that the church understands. He explains further that prophecy is for believers, those that have confessed Christ as their Lord and Savior and that tongues is for unbelievers, perhaps those who aren't truly convinced of the anointing power of God. Now, I'm paraphrasing here. You know, when you read the text, you'll see it reads differently, but I'm paraphrasing. Believers know the sound of tongues when they hear it because it is a distinct sound that touches the heart when it is heard. So what does all of this mean for us? Well, I am so very glad you asked. It could mean that in order to believe, we must understand that the mysteries of Jesus Christ, God, and the Holy Spirit all work together, just like the gifts of God that he gives each of us. They all work together in the body of Christ. One is tied to the other so that all of God's gifts serve their full purpose, even though they may be individually gifted to each of us. In other words, all gifts must work together to serve God's purpose. Amen. And until we meet again, stay safe and love your families. Bye-bye.